Hi, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. A very warm welcome from me personally. All right, uh, in the previous session, we made the add news section and the list of the news or the news list and other sections. In this session, we are going to deal with deleting so that we can delete the news and the file that we have added for our news so that we delete both the news and the image that we have uploaded on our page simultaneously we are going to add these options to the editing section on our admin first we need to make a function so that by clicking that function would be imported at first i go to the news and in the new as you see and observe clearly we make a new function for instance def news on the line lead of tie of the type request that's right and input value pick we give it the news pk that is going to be let's say and then i write return render that's right request okay and now we can open a page that gives a message that it has been done successfully or we can just do something else instead of rendering we can redirect redirect and it should it should go to the news on the line list let's check if it is correct yeah that means after deleting it is going to get back to the news list so we made a function uh we called it news on the line as you see here on this page now we need to define a url for this news page like this one that we already have and then what we are going to do the news we are going to use del here i need to add the pk of the certain news here a pk for my input Okay, and as you see, backslash D plus, all right, uh, it would connect to news delete with news delete name. Now I have made my function, it's ready to work. We give it a PK, it get a PK, and for deleting, we use the PK here as an input is given to my function and then returns the news on the line list now for the news list i need to connect the button so that it sends the pk uh, for each news to it all right the deleting button is over here and as you see right now i write url that's right now to which url should i send it news underline delete and then we should send a pk pk equals cc dot pk okay all right now we refresh once to see if it is okay now when i go on the delete the pk for each one shows up on the left side and this is equal to the pk number each one i hit it goes back to this page but right now nothing happens now we need to write the deleting code for deleting we write the variable b equals news dot objects dot get where pk equals pk and then b dot delete open close parentheses here as you see uh, finds the pk and delete it exactly 
the field that I have given it. Now, if I go to the URL, to that certain URL that you have designated and add a number which I don't have because it cannot get the field, it gives an error. That's what you should pay attention to. Now uh, we can use both get and filter. Uh, filtering is for deleting large amounts of data. Here we can write a filter instead of get. We use filter, which based on the objects, filter the pk that equal the pk and then delete. There is no difference whether there is one or ten records now I test this I hit this as delete and the news is deleted for me the second news is being deleted now for instance I add the address as panel news delete and a slash a number that we have did you notice what happened because I used a filter it didn't give me an error it filtered the numbers the filter is empty it deleted the empty filter if here instead of filter get uh, get I had added this one it would have given me an error that's the difference between using get and filter get extracts one field but filter filters a number of PK numbers and then deletes all that match the descriptions if I had used object.get and had sent the pk that does not exist it would have given me an error here I have done the deleting but what the point here is is that my file is not being deleted we need to make sure that simultaneously with deleting of the news the file is also being deleted